Hmm, what time is it? Let me check my watch. Oh, it's GMAT Tuesday time. Hello, welcome to GMAT Tuesday. Do you like my new Apple watch? Just kidding. This is not a watch, nor an Apple watch. Let's put this away. Okay. Today, we are following up on a previous video. Uh, and I promised in that video that I would show you an easier way, a faster way, to solve the problem. Um, and so that's what I would like to do today. Um, and the way that we're going to solve the problem faster than we did last time is by using multipliers. Um, and so last time we were dealing with this problem, we had a suit and it was $200, and the price went up by 30%, and it dropped by 30%, and then this is the work. It was four steps to get to the answer. Um, so we had to do a lot of multiplying and adding. But if we use a multiplier, we can save ourselves a ton of time. So what is a multiplier? A multiplier is simply, um, um, simply converting your percent into a decimal and then using that as a factor to multiply by your price or cost or whatever is changing. Um, so don't worry about too much what it is. Let's just see what it does and it'll make a lot more sense. So there's three easy steps to make a multiplier. The first step is to get your percent and change it into a decimal. So over here we have our percent, which is 30%, and we want to change it into a decimal. So that's just going to be 0 0.3. Ta-da! Second step, you have a choice here. If it's a percent increase, you keep this positive. If it's a percent decrease, you make it negative. Okay, simple enough. Well, this is an increase, so we're just going to keep it positive. No change. And then the final step is to add 1. There we go. Okay, so 1 plus 0 0.3 equals 1.3. Great. So now our multiplier is 1.3. If we wanted to find out what the percent change from $200, if we wanted to find that out, we would multiply 200 by 1.3. And what this multiplier does is it combines these two steps. The 0.3 here does this step and tells us what 60 is. And then the 1 is signifying 100% of $200, basically, and that's that 200 here. And so you combine the two steps, and 1.3 times 200 would give us 260. Now, the crucial concept that I want you to walk away with is that when you have a series of multipliers, simply multiply them to find the total change. And that's what we have here in this, uh, this problem. We have 30% increase 30 percent decrease so we have a series of changes so what we can do is find our multiplier here and our multiplier here multiply them together and then it'll be a two-step problem to get to the end because right now i could change this into a multiplier and then do this work take 260 times the multiplier to get to 182 but i can do it a lot faster if i just use my multiplier so Let's change our second multiplier. We need a different pen. So here we have a 30% decrease. So remember our steps. Change the percent into a decimal. So it's going to become 0 0.3. This time it's a decrease. That means we're going to make it negative. It's going to be a negative 0 0.3. And then we add 1. Okay, so 1 plus... A negative 0 0.3 gives us 0 0.7. Excellent. So the concept here is take our multipliers here and here, multiply them together. So 1.3 times 0 0.7 gives us 0 0.91. So now all you have to do is take this multiplier multiply it by the original number, 200, and you'll get the same answer. So 200 times 0 0.91 will equal 182. So as you can see, 
We can save a lot of time if A, we remember this crucial concept, and B, use multipliers when dealing with percent change. That's it. Now you can do it faster. All right, I don't have anything else to say about multipliers today. This GMAT Tuesday is coming to an end. If you would like to leave any comments, suggestions, give us feedback, we are always open to hearing from our students, so please let us know. Be excellent to the universe, and I will see you next week.